Hello friends, welcome. In the last session we have seen how to solve this problem using trigonometry. So in this session let us see how to solve it using similar triangles. Very simple because we already did the hard work and we found that BD is the diameter and arc BD is the semicircle which helped us to find out that angle BPD is 90 degrees. Since we have equilateral triangle and we are dividing that into two equal parts, we can find out all the angles very easily. Now we have to look for similar triangles so that we can find out the ratio of AP and AB. For that, what I will do, we have to find out the ratio of AP and AB. So let me look for the triangles where I have AP and AB. One triangle I see is APD one triangle I see is the APD right triangle and the another triangle APD we have 60, 90 and 30 degrees. So in ADB I will take it because we have to find out the ratio of AP and AB. So ADB also is 60, 90, 30. So those triangles are similar to each other. They are similar to each other. Why? Because they have a proportional, a similarity there. I'll just put down for our understanding what are the angles here. APD is always 60, 90 and 30. Same case with ADB. You can see that A is 60, common angle and we have 190 degrees. Then AD, angle D is 90 degrees and angle B is 30 degrees. Now we know that whenever we have two triangles which are similar to each other. We know the sides are in proportion. We are interested in AP. So let me start with AP. AP goes from 60 to 90. So in the corresponding triangle, similar triangle, 60 to 90 is given by AD. And we are interested in finding out what is AB. So AB is going from 60 to 30. So 60 to 30, I have AD. So I will have AP by AD equal to AD by AB. Now if you cross multiply, you will see that AD square equal to AP into AB. We also know that AD equal to AB by 2. How we know that? Because it's an equilateral triangle. You are dividing that into equal parts. AC is divided. And it's been very clearly given that D is the midpoint. D is the midpoint of AC. So AC is nothing but equal to AD by 2. A AC by 2 is nothing but equal to AB by 2. So we know that AD is equal to AB by 2 because it's an equilateral triangle. All the sides are equal. AB by 2 whole square is equal to AP into AB which is nothing but equal to AP into AB equal to AB square by 4 AB square by 4 which gives me AP equal to AB by 4. So that tells me that the ratio of AP to AB is nothing but equal to 1 is to 4. Now, the most important thing in this problem is to understand why we have been told that B touching side AC at midpoint D, that D and it is passing through B touching D, touching at D, midpoint of AC. The whole idea is to tell you that BD is the semicircle, arc BD is semicircle, so that you can see two similar triangles or you can use a little bit of trigonometry and you can find out the ratio of AB to AB. So I'll catch you again with one more interesting example. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.